Okay, just going to announce, so I'm going to go. So remember, two minute intro to start with. Hey, welcome to Falcraft Cast. I'm Hammy, and this is a two minute deck guide introduction to a Hearthstone deck that is doing the rounds in Goblin vs. Gnomes. It's a control warrior, a familiar deck for those of you playing for a while. If you're new, no worries, we'll take it through from a new player perspective. And as I just get the timer up, um, we're going to be looking at shows control warrior. So our time starts. Are you ready for it? Three, two, one, and now. Control Warrior is a deck where in the early game you're trying to keep your opponent's board under control. You try and get rid of your opponent's key minions, make sure that they're not overwhelming you in terms of minions on the table, or making sure your health doesn't drop too low. You then seize control as much as you can in the middle of the game using big high tempo cards, cards that grab not only um, secure control of the board for you, but hopefully grab the swing of the game away from your opponent, put them on the wrong foot, put them back a little bit. Finally in the late game, you survive till the late game, if you've got the board under control, if you're not dead by the late game, Control Warrior wipes the board with big nasty minions. That is how you play. Let's take a look at Show's version. So. Control Warrior has a lot of staple cards. You will see executes um, combo well with whirlwinds, also with a cruel cool taskmaster in a pinch, and then the one damage dealt by Death's Bite to remove any damaged uh, enemy minion from the table for a mere one mana. Now that is absolutely excellent uh, for very, very big, big uh, minions. Ideally, execute is used on high mana, high priority targets. Shield Slam combos well with Shield Block as by armoring up and armoring up with your hero power, Shield Slam can remove other targets, Whirlwind can remove lower targets, and also give you more armor with Armor Smith and help you draw cards with Acolyte of Pain. Fury War Axe should be used and Mulligan for heavily against Rush decks. As you come into the mid game, Big Game Hunter is used again as removal against big minions. Death Spite is also used both to trigger your early minion abilities and as hard removal. Belchers secure the middle of the game, but you can swap these for Sengen Shield Shieldmasters if you need earlier game protection or a more budget option. Ken Baltuf is a big swing card. Again, I've swapped him for um, Cleaves in other of my decks, but he can be used to throw down and get control of the mid game. Shield Maidens give you both trading ability in the mid game and armor you up. Sylvanas can give you swing ability if you need to against uh, decks that have lots of big minions on the table. Finally in the late game, Geddon is good against any kind of token deck. Boom can take the table back for you if you're running out of minions. And then Gromash combos well with damage dealers, Ragnaros and Anextraza. Between those three big or four big legendaries, you should get a win. That is our two minute summary of Control Warrior. If you would like to see this deck in action, uh, please click the link uh, that you can see on this screen, or you can actually go ahead and look at youtube.com forward slash failcraftcast. We've got Control Warrior options and other things too. Um, do you click the link here to see our longer analysis of this deck where we also suggest budget substitutions if you don't have all the cards and similar thanks very much for tuning in i've been hammy if you're live don't go away if you're on youtube come